coming up today. So I have a question for you. I have a little arrangement here, kind of a fall arrangement. Does anybody know what kind of flower that is in my arrangement? What would you call that kind of flower? Do you know? What do you think, Kim? It's a sunflower, right. Do you have any idea, Cameron, why it's called a sunflower? Because it's, because it's a flower and it looks like a sun. It looks like a sun. That's what some people think, that sunflowers are called sunflowers because they're big and round and yellow like the sun in the sky. And it goes in circles? The sun does. The sun looks like it goes across the sky from morning to evening because the world is rotating, right? The earth is rotating. But another thing that people think... Yeah, well, let me tell you about the sunflower. Another thing people think um, why it's called a sunflower is because when the sun is going across like you just talked about, the sunflower turns its face to follow the sun. And that's why they think that flower is called a sunflower. Do you think so, Jackson? It follows the sun. Well, did you guys know that God wants you to follow the sun? Mackenzie, Cameron, did you know God wants you to follow the sun? Is that silly? You don't follow the sun like a sunflower, right? Not the sun that's in the sky, the big yellow warm sun. He wants, he, he wants us to follow him. Follow him. And Jesus is called the son of God. Yeah. Kind of like Cameron and Jackson, you guys are sons. And Mackenzie, you're a daughter in your family. Jesus is the son of God. Exactly right. And so we're supposed to be following him, but I wonder how we do that. Um, um, he, God will help us. God he will help God us. That's exactly right. He, he does. Well, God helps us. Okay, Cameron. All right. Cameron, let me see your quiet mouth for a minute. Can I see your quiet mouth? And your looking eyes. Where are your looking eyes? Let me see. God helps us, like Mackenzie just said, God helps us to follow Jesus by helping us to follow what Jesus does, Jesus, how Jesus lived. And in our Bible readings today, you're going to hear some ways that Jesus showed us how he wants us to follow him. Jesus did not, um, Jesus kept his mind on what God wanted him to do. He was not wishy-washy at all. He kept his focus on the good things that God wanted him to do. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Jesus kept his focus. He was not distracted. And you know what else, Cameron? <laughs> You'll see her in a minute. You know what else Jesus did? He was not proud. He didn't try to be first at everything. Do you guys always want to be first in line or first at everything? Jesus didn't want to be that way. Jesus made sure he put others first. When he died on a cross, he definitely wasn't trying to be first, was he? He wasn't thinking of himself. He was thinking of the world that he loves so much. And that's why he died on the cross to pay for our sins. It doesn't really matter if we're first or not. In fact, God tells us that it's better to let others be first. It's better to think of others before us. So to follow Jesus, we look to Jesus to be our help. Like Mackenzie, you said he helps us, right? He is our help and he's our example. Jesus helps us by forgiving our sins. And he promises eternal life to all who believe in him. And he's our example of how to live here on this earth while we're waiting for heaven. Jesus earned eternal life for us, but we're going to enjoy that one day. But right now, we still live here. And he shows us how to live. And one of the ways he shows us is to put other people before ourselves, put other people first. And obey. We need to obey our parents. We obey God. And we obey all those people that God's given us to take care of us. And 
we help other people just like Jesus has helped us. And you know what, when we do that, we're kind of like those sunflowers, following that sun in the sky, only we're following who? God. Not the Son of God, Jesus, exactly right. Well, let's fold our hands and pray, and then when we go back to the nursery, you can tell Michonne, okay? Dear God, thank you for helping me and being my example of how to live like Jesus. Amen. All right, guys, you can go back to your seats or the nursery.